All right, guys, it's startup time. Now let's see if it starts on the first key cycle. All right, as you just saw, uh, the car is officially running. Um, now it's time to enter phase two of the project setup or the build. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of these uh, rubber couplers. Now that I have it set up, kind of like routed where I want it to go. And I want to get these uh, TIG welded by somebody who's more skillful than, than I am, obviously. Um, so don't get all worked up and be like that stupid you you got too many rubber couplers blah 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 i know man it's just temporary i needed to get the cartoon get it running and uh you know data log it and get this done when uh the money's right you know just wait till i get my money right okay so um yeah so now we've entered stage two um the car's ready to run and and make a test hit and then uh email that law that data log back to my tuner because uh, i'm getting a remote tuned from a local guy who's really really good and then uh i should be able to make a eighth mile pass first and then eventually get it down the quarter mile track and see how fast it is but yeah right now uh before i really get a hit at the track i mean like i said i want to get these done um i don't want to have an issue at the track with this crap is popping off and creates a bigger issue um and also not a big deal nothing too crazy or nothing but this purple and blue uh fuel pressure regulator is just not sitting right in this engine bay you know it just sticks out and i want to get a black one now, this is what i had at the time uh because that's the only one that was available when i had the lsa and uh but now it just kind of sits up here um and just sticks out it's like i said it's not no big deal just want to redo that and i'm also going to do uh some sort of like brake upgrades on on this get a new master new booster maybe like a hydro boost or something of some sort and then uh it'll be money you know um here's a little bit more of the engine bay i'm sure if you follow the the build you you've been seeing how i've been doing it little by little but there it is um, I'm not in my fuel regulator in case anybody's curious with just a little bracket to the original one and it doesn't have play at all. It's stiff. So, you know, it'll be all right. Shouldn't cause any issues, any leaks, you know, but here we are. Cars officially run. Took a couple months, but you know, in today's world, you just can't be dropping money whenever you want to, especially on, you know, your little side project. I'm also gonna redo this. Uh, I'm gonna get that other type of wrap. Uh, I messed up and got the wrong type of wrap. Um, I forgot what the other one was called, but this is not the one I wanted. I wanted the one that looks more like this here, but this is like the, I guess the older style. If you know, you know, if you don't, then, you know, when I put it on, you'll see what I'm talking about. And uh, I also still gotta get my, uh, my wastegate tubes mounted like the little down pipes and put that one going down down yonder and then i still gotta get this one right here i gotta get that one uh pointed like down to the middle or somewhere right here so if it blows i should probably get it down to the middle so if it blows oil it'll blow down the middle i guess and not somewhere where that back tire can pick it up maybe if it makes sense i don't know i'll talk to the professional guy who i'll get to build me 
my uh, downpipe tubes, whatever you, you call them for the wastegate, um, and let him decide and see what he recommends. But that's it. Pretty much done. If I start posting more videos on it, it'll probably be like some do's and don'ts, some things I've learned of, uh, of going turbo. So catch you on the next video. Oh, and when in doubt, whip it out. Peace.